Hey, welcome back to Overall Living. How y'all doing? <laughs> um, I kind of added to my playlist a little video. Uh, my wife and I started a channel a while back called Arkansas Weekenders. It's kind of uh, things you can do on the weekend. Uh, we float a lot, we hike a lot, stuff like that. Um, I'm not trying to push that channel on anybody, but if you want to check it out, you can check it out. I added a playlist where you can uh, watch the videos if you want. I really like the way I do the videos. Uh, there's not a lot of talking. There's more music and, uh, you know, just the, the beauty of the nature part, which is uh, the main reason we did it, you know, is uh, get out and enjoy, you know, the parks. But the main purpose of this video is if you do watch that video, I can explain what's going on here. So this is pretty much my loadout from yesterday. Uh, we did a pretty good hike uh, on the December the 1st. It was 35 degrees. It was rather cold. I layered and layered and layered. I had a, a nice undershirt, a t-shirt, uh, this jacket shirtish thing. And of course, I took an extra hoodie to put on top of that if I was going to get cold, which I did not. Uh, so I wanted to talk about my little loadout here. What I've done is I took my gun belt and I repurposed it uh, for the very reason that we were going to do a trail that was supposed to be uh, fairly uh, strenuous. It was a five mile overall trail, but the last two and a half miles were basically uh, uphill. And it was hard, or going to be hard, especially for us because we're not uber shaped people. Uh, we're kind of mediocrely shaped people. <laughs> if that's even a thing so uh, we were planning on it being uh, quite difficult and uh, last minute we had decided that uh, we don't have the right backpack uh, for Shorty because uh, yeah she's a tough little girl but I don't know that she can handle two and a half miles straight up so what I did was I repurposed my gun belt you see it doesn't really have a gun on it a little bit different things. Uh, removed all the mag holders and everything. So I repurposed this to be a hiking belt with the idea that Shorty carries a hiking stick. Uh, this is mama's hiking stick. Uh, Mom has two. I have one and Shorty has one and I usually don't carry mine because I'm carrying the tripod that you're sitting on and my phone so I can do all the video things for the weekenders. But the idea behind this was, and we did use it and try it out, that if Shorty does get tired, we can take our hiking stick and extend it out a little bit, tighten it back up, and I have the back straps. And I can run this through the back straps. And she can put her legs right here. She can either stand or she can sit on it. We saw something like this before. And uh, I also have a ratchet strap. I know that sounds kind of rednecky, but I have a ratchet strap that I can wrap around her back and under her arms and I can pull it around my front if I have to, if she can't hold on. But we did find that it's very comfortable for both me and her, for her to hook her legs over here and ride. And uh, she really wanted to ride longer, but you know, she wasn't tired and it wasn't hard. So that's kind of why we repurposed the gun belt. Uh, I was really excited about it. I uh, really kind of like it, and we're probably going to keep it this way. I might make some changes in the pouches. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. So this is what we were ending up with, and uh, what I was doing with my tripod, it folds down. I was just sticking it back here as well. We ended up with a, an extra stick, so I ended up carrying it there. I mean, it's... It didn't go anywhere. I put the tripod back here so I could just carry the phone in my pocket or wherever. Or if I needed it, I could pull it out. It's quite easy to get in and out. You just slide it through. Through the back straps. Uh oh, I'm hung up. And I can get it out. <clears throat> so I have my first aid kit over here. Which I'm planning on uh, changing that up pretty soon into something smaller. 
Uh, you'll probably see something like the bear fac over there. <laughs> Uh, because it is a very good kit, uh, I know I've helped them put some together, and they're just really excellent made. But this isn't about that. Sorry, TJ. So I have a poop shovel, which we didn't have to use, thank goodness. I have a Sawyer uh, mini kit here. Now remember, this was all designed to go on a, a much harder trip than we went. And then over here... This is just a little fire kit, and I think there's a little light in there, a little glow stick style light, and uh, a little piece of duct tape <laughs> thing. So basically this was uh, in case we got stuck on the side of the mountain and we needed to stay the night, that's what we would do. And then hold on, I'll spin you around and we'll look at the butt back. So this weighs nothing. I mean, there's really no weight to it. And my uh, my idea, this is my hoodie I rolled up. Get it out of the way. It's just a desert storm butt pack that my friend Flatlines Up gave me, I'm pretty sure. This is my battery booster, my battery charger for my phone. I wouldn't normally carry that other than... For some reason when it's cold outside my battery dies fast so i carry that with me when i do the this i got a headlamp it goes different colors uh, red blue and green you got a decent headlamp there and of course regular i took a little what do you call it a nightcap a beanie if you will definitely took some extra ace bandage in case somebody twisted an ankle or busted something up which is also the idea behind the little roll of duct tape in here. I know I can compact it better, but it's a roll of duct tape and it doesn't weigh anything and it fit fine. <laughs> I got some spare batteries for the uh, headlight and for the little flashlight in my pocket here. Also triple A. This is the ratchet strap that I have in case we need to for shorty. And it's not the actual ratchet kind. It's kind of like the ones you get for the canoes. It's just a quick release that I threw in there. Of course, I got some paracord. And then everybody carried a, an SOL bivy ba uh, bag because they're nothing. They don't weigh nothing. And I carried uh, the super important prep, the toilet paper and the shovel. So I was the only one that got to use the bathroom out on the trail if I needed to, which we didn't. Uh, just a little towel, a little chamois cloth. And this is a poncho. Um, I'm going to show you uh, Shorty's loadout as well. Yes, she carries a bag too, or she did this trip. So hold on and I'll swap that out. <laughs> so this was the pack that Shorty carried with her. She chose the pack herself, which I thought was important. Um, I offered her a bigger pack and she didn't really like that idea. This one is super duper light. It's something that she could carry, something that she liked, and it's real simple. She's six and uh, she's kind of getting the lighter thing down and how to start fires she's not uh my opinion she's not ready for that she has a little uh wooden knife sorry about that she has a little wooden uh fold out knife that uh i won uh from nwa preppers uh, one of his challenges uh, she likes it uh, she didn't carry it with her this time because it's a wooden knife i mean it really doesn't do much it helps her practice now this is what she carried. She had a bottle of water, which we all had some water. She had a pencil. She got to carry the handy wipes. She carried uh, this uh, signal mirror, and she absolutely knows how to use it, and she'll tell you how to use it. She can teach you. She has a little whistle. Uh, I picked these up online somewhere. She knows how to use it. She knows it's about the three blast thing. Um, like I said, everybody carried a little bivy blanket. She knows how to use this. We went through that. She understands what it's for. She also has an extra uh, survival blanket, emergency survival blanket. And everybody carries a poncho. And these little cheaper ponchos, we didn't need them, but 
you know, they say when you do a day hike in the Ozarks, you probably need to carry a, some kind of rain gear. Everybody carried a poncho. She loves this bird manual that we picked up at one of the state parks. So she carries that, and that's what the pencil is for. She actually makes herself a list so she can check it off. And this is one of the lists that she drew up. She made herself a little list of birds. And she's already <laughs> written on it. I don't know what she actually saw. <laughs> it's super cute though. And then we have this little uh, Buffalo River hiking magazine or book that we were using. Where did we go? We went to Lost Valley. It was pretty simple right in the middle. Yeah, Lost Valley Trail. It has a little trail map. And, but she got to carry the book because she wanted to carry something else and her bag was really light. So that's her load of, oh, and she thought it was important that she carried an extra hair tie. <laughs> I know, right? So that's her loadout. That's what I carried. Um, the idea was we were going to a, I hope this video turns out with the sun being in my face. So uh, the idea was that we were going to go back to a, or we were going to go to a, uh, a fairly strenuous hike. Uh, to see this great big monster waterfall that's supposed to be grand and uh, that morning yesterday morning we woke up and there was a uh, reports of 35 to 40 mile an hour winds and two and a half miles uphill and that kind of wind in the woods i wasn't having it i didn't think it was a good idea uh, me and mama decided to do something different we hopped online we did some some quick looking we grabbed our books we have several books we have this book we have both the take a hike books. Those are pretty good if you don't if you're into hiking uh, and, and you live in Arkansas. I don't think they'll do you any good anywhere else. Uh, but these are local hiking books. Um, we we dug through here. We looked at some stuff online and we came up with this uh, this Lost Valley uh, hike. It was only like 2.4 miles or 2.2 miles somewhere in there. So I was a little overloaded for that easy of a hike but it turned out to be just a terrific day uh, it was cold at first but once we got going we warmed up it was a great day it was a great time so if you want to check that out you can check that out that's fine i just wanted to share my loadout i thought it was pretty uh inventive or uh, creative uh, using what i had uh, to meet my needs and uh, i'll add a picture in here somewhere uh we we got two pictures we actually used it on a creek crossing she didn't have uh she didn't have uh, water resistant shoes on uh, she's just growing so fast <laughs> she grew out of her merrill's her merrill hiking shoes so she was just wearing regular tennis shoes so i carried her across one spot that was pretty tricky and it worked great uh, she does she's 55 pounds uh this will carry that load no problem uh, i don't really have anything else to talk about other than that uh, we had a good time and that was my loadout and I was just I was just excited about the way uh, we came up with it and how well it worked so uh, I guess for now you know have a good one and get out there in the woods and enjoy it <laughs>